Okay, in about one minute, we're going live with the Write Your Bestseller Masterclass, how to write a bestselling book for profits. And let's make sure we're still live because it was just going live as I was getting started. Okay. Let's see. Let's see who is here. Okay, very well. So not only are we live right here, we're also live on YouTube. So welcome everyone. It is Alicia Dedums and we are talking about how to write a bestseller. And this is a bestseller for uh, prestige, profits, press, all things that start with P. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. And I just wanna thank you for being here. Someone says, yay, I love your colorful uh, background. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I just wanted to welcome you. So we are on the Zoom webinar right now. We're also live on YouTube and we're gonna be sharing a lot today. This is gonna be some live Q&A, uh, live laser coaching about you writing your book. And we're gonna be talking about how to write a book. So I have a webinar that I'm gonna be sharing with you, but I just wanted to welcome you along. And I so appreciate you, uh, Marie, says she loves my colorful background, great. Uh, we are moving forward uh, today and I'm just gonna pull up the slides right now on how to write and publish a profitable book. So if you bear with me and share where you are uh, coming in from. So whether you're on YouTube experiencing this, please write where you are coming from uh, and also on the Zoom webinar. So with that, I'm gonna be jumping in uh, to our PowerPoint here. And just a little bit about me is I have, I've been helping people write books for over 12 years now. Actually, we're going on the 13th year of thousands of people, whether they attended my Best Seller to Weekend uh, program, whether they uh, went through my Book Funnel program, which is a done for you book program. Uh, I have, been, whether they're just watched a webinar, I've had people who've just watched one of my webinars and they had enough information and value to, to go and uh, take initiative and execute and write a book. So uh, lots, of, lots of experience here. Uh, not only do I help people write books, I write my own books as well. I've actually published two books in the last year and I will be sharing some case studies specifically on the type of books I wrote and why I wrote these books. And there's a lot of reasons why, and I'm gonna be asking what your why as well. So as you come on and introduce yourself, say hi, where you are uh, calling in from, where you're viewing from, and what questions that you have. Let's use, use this as an opportunity uh, to really move forward. So I'm gonna be jumping in and uh, sharing right now uh, the PowerPoint presentation. We're gonna get official and <laughs> we're gonna get official with the PowerPoint presentation. And then we are going to jump in. So you should be able to see a PowerPoint presentation and you can probably see all my slides here and I'm gonna share. Oh, no, I'm not gonna share. I'm going to present, there we go. I'm going to present. So does everyone see my PowerPoint? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, great. So here's my PowerPoint. And again, we're gonna be talking about how to write a book, why you get to write a book, uh, what benefits uh, happen when you write a book and how does it benefit the world when we write a book? And so something that I realized for doing this for such a long time, helping so many people who want to share their message with the world is that when people write a book, they start a movement. And when you start a movement, you change the world. It's the ripple effect. It's something that I teach not only in my weekend workshops, but I also teach when I do leadership retreats and when I te teach at corporate, uh, when I do professional development, is there is such thing called the ripple effect. And the ripple effect is when you make a positive change in the world, it ripples effects out. We have this powerful uh, dynamic source energy that we can create change the way we're being and by using our voice, by sharing our story. So that's why we're going to be jumping in here tonight. So, uh, so best start a weekend, write a book, start a movement and change the world. That is my mantra. And I, and I celebrate and I invite you to come along uh, with me in this process. 
And so uh, as we jump in, I ask you to be vocal. I ask you to share so I can do some laser coaching. And I wanna also give you a little bit more information about myself, as I, I mentioned. I, I uh, let me make sure I'm recording. That would be good if I was recording. <laughs> yes, record on this computer. <laughs> I got so excited, I just jumped right in. So I shared a little bit about myself is that I've helped thousands of people write books through my Best Learn a Weekend program. I've been doing this for quite a bit time now. I've been doing it since 2007. And it has evolved over the time from, from weekend workshops to coaching, to consulting, uh, to done for you uh, book, book writing programs. And so that has been like who I've been. Now that's not all I am. So yes, I help people write books. Yes, I love the power of storytelling and hearing other people's story. And that when you share your story, you inspire others to do the same. And when you share, especially when it comes to uh, your healing story, uh, you know, what, what you maybe have overcome in your life, it absolutely creates power in others to do the same. And, and even beyond that, you know, whether you're writing a book about a business, uh, leadership, what have you, uh, it is a entree into a whole nother opportunity. And so that's what I want to share about myself is yes, I've helped people for over a decade write books, but I also write my own books. And in the last year, I've written two books and they're on the screen right here. One is called I Get To, How Using the Right Words Can Radically Transform Your Life, Relationships and Business. And the other one is a co-authorship with actually a client of mine. Uh, and it's called, uh, Yes, I Will Talk, What to Say and Do When You Are Sexually Harassed. So let me just tell a little bit why I wrote these books is I have been in the entrepreneur space for a decade plus now, as I've mentioned, and I've helped so many people write books. One thing that I wanted to start doing is really developing my thought leadership space. Uh, and that is that I, I, firmly believe in the power of communication and that uh, in addition to uh, being a leadership coach in corporate America, I'm also a certified mediator. And in that, I believe in the power of the words that we use create the life that we want. So not only uh, in your own manifestation or self-actualization of the life that you want, but what does it look like you being in relationship with others? And what you say to them. So this is comes down to communication in terms of negotiation and conflict resolution and having better relationships and also creating what you want in your life. And I firmly believe is what you say you create. There is power in the spoken word. So who else believes that, that there's power in the spoken word? And, and I'm going to jump on the chat to make sure I don't miss uh, anyone's comments. So let me know, do you believe that there is power in the spoken word? Do you believe that uh, if you uh, and declare it with your voice, uh, there's this, this concept and I have it in my book, uh, you declare, uh, you, you dream it, you declare it and you deliver it. And part of even writing a book, first of all, all of you are here. So congratulations for that, you are here. And part of this process is you're, you know, you dreamt about writing a book. Hmm, wow, there's a webinar today. Let me jump on the webinar. And then by being here, you're in sense creating the muscle memory. You're, you're visualizing what, what you want to create. I'm, I want to write a book and I'm at this webinar right now. So I get to learn about writing a book. And then through this process, you will begin to create your future self, like what you want to be an aspiring, your aspiring author now. And through this process, you will eventually be an author, whether it's a couple months from now, whether it's a couple years from now. And so I just want to encourage you that congratulate yourself on this first step. Now, just really quickly, and I'll share more of my story as we, as we move on is I wrote these books and it has opened me up to an awesome opportunity to do a lot of corporate speaking uh, and professional development. And we will be talking about how to use your book to make money in this webinar. So not only how to share your story and to, and to share your message with the world, but how you can use this to build, build a business. And that is one of the things that I feel especially excited about because it's something I love teaching my clients. So again, a little bit more about me and then we're going to jump in. So why do people write a book? Well, I just mentioned one of the reasons I wrote these two books is for uh, further corporate engagements, uh, speaking facilitation and professional development, professional development programs. Another reason 
to write a book is to appear on TV. It's one of the fastest ways to get on TV. And I have a couple screenshots of some uh, TV appearances that I've been on in the last, uh, well, 10 years now. And, and all of these I secured without a publicist. It was because I had a book. And now more than ever, the publicity game has changed and producers and people in the media, they're on Instagram, they're on Twitter, they're looking for the go-to expert, they're looking for people who can talk about whatever subject is hot in the moment, whatever is uh, on the 24-hour, seven-day-a-week news cycle, they're looking for an expert who can speak on that topic. And so what is a, uh, a better way than to write the book? And we will be talking about how a book really puts you on the radar not only um, on Google as a search engine, but also Amazon.com being a search engine. So here's me on the Steve Harvey, Harvey show. Actually, I was on his show. And then when I walked off, he grabbed my book and he said, I want to promote this book to the audience. So he actually just did a shout out. He's like, buy this book. Uh, when he did that shout out for my, my first book, Gold Digger, which I wrote 12 years ago now in 2007, is uh, my book became a bestseller again on Amazon. So we'll be talking a little bit about that as well. And whether it's like local web TV shows or national shows, this is the Ricky Lake show, both actually Steve Harvey and the Ricky Lake, they, they no longer are, are a thing. So you know, new shows are constantly uh, coming up. And that's actually a good caveat for us to share right here is that you always get to be reinventing yourself. Steve Harvey has no longer does his show because he's doing you know bigger and better things at this moment, perhaps. So. That's what you want to know. So let's jump in. It says, who, who should be on this webinar in the first place? So this webinar is for anyone who wants to write a nonfiction book. So these are business owners, entrepreneurs, and coaches, thought leaders. Maybe you want to be considered a thought leader, service providers, memoir writers, writing your story, and anyone who has a story to tell. And you're in the right place if you're tired of thinking about writing or finishing a book and you're ready actually to do it. So we'll be doing that during this next 60 minutes. Also, you're ready to package your book, to uh, package your knowledge to profit. So writing a book is one of the first ways to really uh, productize your expertise. You're ready to create the more visi visibility around you as you as a personal brand and around your current service offerings. And also you're ready to be a thought leader in your industry and secure speaking and media opportunities. So I would love to know why you are here. So you can share in the chat or in the comments, I'll be checking out on YouTube, why you are here. And, um, and this is not a webinar if you're writing a fiction book. So I'll just say that to save your time, best go to fictioninaweekend.com. I have some free goodies over there for you if you're writing a fiction book, it's a whole nother game. Uh, and I have some resources for you. So didn't wanna lead you astray if you're here for a fiction book. So what are we going to cover? We're gonna be talking about the benefits of writing a book. I've already started talking about those. Five proven and easy steps to write, not just a book, but a best-selling book. And we will talk about that because there's a lot of controversy around best-selling book. And I'll give you my thoughts on that. Ways to generate leads, engage clients, and boost sales by leveraging your book. We'll be talking about that as well. And also the one thing that is holding you back, the one thing that's holding you back. So if you are, if you guys are chatty, please chat up in the bot. I see there's, we got Bob, we got David, we got uh, Gloria, we got Jim, we got Marie, Sterling, more people coming on. Love this. So that's what we're going to cover in today's webinar. So first of all, why? Why, why are you here? Why are you wanting to write a book? What is your why? So please share in the comments. And as I mentioned before, specifically your why is important. The intention behind why you do something is important as the action itself. So the intention behind it. So the why I wrote a book on communication was to secure corporate communication professional development trainings. That was my why. Uh, the why on the book uh, around uh, sexual harassment um, and called what to say and do when you're sexually harassed, that was actually my response to the hashtag Me Too movement. Uh, I thought that there was a glaring problem and, uh, and that there, was, there, there gets to be some communication support 
around people who are target uh, around targets of sexual harassment. And so that book came together uh, really as a, for me, I'm someone I love to solve problems and, uh, <laughs> and obviously if it's not a one and done thing, uh, this, that is a, um, uh, a whole, that's a, that's a holistic problem. And again, as I mentioned, as, as we show up in the world is that when we do something uh, uh, positive, we create a ripple effect. And I know that the book and the accompanying uh, employee, employee um, professional development that we have around that and managerial development that we have on that is creating positive ripple effects. I know that to be true. And so that was the reasons behind those books. And when I look at my clients, I see they have specific reasons around writing their book as well. One is to get booked on TV. We talked about that. Writing a book is a great way to get booked on TV. Here's a variety of my clients from, from business owners to psychotherapists, to holistic healers, to a husband who uh, is a blogger and his, his, his wife was diagnosed with breast cancer and he appeared on TV around breast cancer aware this month because his book is on that subject and how he as a husband was able to support his wife. So here's an example of, of people who have been uh, booked on TV because of their book. I have a client who is an OBGYN and she was booked on a full one hour documentary on CNN uh, around sexual health. And so uh, I, have, I, mean, I have tons of clients where, who have been able to use their book to whether it's to book small local uh, TV outfits uh, to, to national TV outlets to international like like CNN or the cover of the New York Times. So I, uh, Brandon Wade over here was on the cover of the New York Times, the Saturday edition. And, and so, uh, and then CNN and I mean, Bloomberg, I mean, the list go, MSNBC, it, the list goes on and on and on where my clients have showed up at the Today Show. And when you have the book, people in the media are looking for the go-to expert as I jumped into before. So that is a reason to write a book. And here's uh, Brandon uh, quickly. Actually, Brandon has a very successful business. It's an online dating platform. And he has been on Good Look Morning America 2020 CNN and the cover of the New York Times Saturday edition. I, I like to say that it's the magazine edition. And, and with that, uh, writing books is part of his strategy. He has a membership site business. And so it's all about driving driving members to his site. So it creates uh, that scalability. He has a membership site. So why not? It's, it's promotion, promotion, promotion. He does a lot of creative things with press releases as well. So writing a book is a way to get on TV. And that just shared, those are, that's one of his books, uh, which um, he wrote through the program. Uh, also, one of the reasons we write a book is to become a credible expert. So this is my client, Dr. Larry Bruchette. He came to me specifically and he said, I want to be a TV doctor. That was his, you know, talking about the declaration, I want to be a TV doctor. So you get to be really clear on what you want to do, your vision of your life, your vision of the world. And so he came to me, I'm like, okay, that's awesome. Let's make that happen. And so he, he's an emergency room doctor. And what we did is he had um, a little bit, his backstory I'll share is he was on The Bachelorette. Uh, and so he had a little like, uh, like the, I'd say two minutes of fame. Uh, he didn't get a rose or anything, uh, but he was one of, the, one of the men vying for this bachelorette's uh, attention. And so he was being invited to parties and stuff. And he's like, I kind of want to leverage this opportunity in this new community that I have. And so he, we wrote the book called uh, Gentleman's Diet. And so he is really positioning himself as a, a male health, men's health expert. And through this, he has been doing local TV uh, and also to the day show. So when he wrote his book, he did some stuff right after he wrote his book. I think within one month of writing his book, he was on the Steve Harvey show, then started to do stuff in his local community as a medical expert. You see that in the upper left-hand corner and then uh, started to appear on the Today Show. So that's how it builds up. And then it continues to build on each other. So. The whole thing about success is momentum. You want to uh, have it continue to um, create. And so with that, in addition to having a YouTube channel and all of that, uh, it's uh, really given that credibility is not just being an ER doctor, but being a go-to in terms of men's health. Become a keynote speaker. This is a reason why people want to write a book is they want to get speaking. Now, the thing about speaking, there's a lot of interesting 
ways to speak. Obviously, you could speak for free. That's what people do a lot when they go to local meetup groups or BNIs or networking groups. They maybe do speaking for free. In this case, Ana Maria Sanchez, she wrote her book about her experience of her life. And the book is called, I mean, the title says it all, Girl from the Hood Gone Good. And when she wrote this book, she was sharing what she went through in her life. Because of what she was sharing, she met some people who were connected to the United Nations. And a lot of the initiatives in the United Nations is to support women worldwide in terms of uh, overcoming uh, oppression and ha really having the opportunity to grow. There's a lot of initiatives uh, in terms of um, investing in women because when you invest in women, they invest in uh, the community. And so she started speaking at the United Nations. So she went from becoming, she was a holistic provider and healer to writing her book, to speaking at the United Nations, sharing her story of abuse and trauma and being able to share that uh, to, inspire, to inspire others. So now she's been, I don't know how many times, she's probably four or five times spoken at the United Nations. She's on committees there. She's, she's part of the whole, uh, really, uh, uh, in terms of being on the committee of what, uh, when they have their yearly events. So kudos to Anna Maria Sanchez for turning really some pain into uh, something that she could be really passionate about and really change the world. So becoming a keynote. Now there's uh, speaking uh, for phil philanthropy in this way. Maybe it's not paid, but you're getting credibility. You're, you're getting out there, you're meeting people. And here's a client of mine, Bob Coppage, and he wrote his book. He has a services-based business in Ohio and it is all IT. And he calls himself the a crotchety, crotchety old geek, <laughs> which he starts all of his subtitles with. But what I love about this is Bob uh, sent me an email saying that uh, he was speaking at a, a, a company function, not his company, but it was like an industry-wide conference. And the person who put it on, the event planner, bought 1,800 copies of his book. So everyone was able to get a copy of his book, which has led him to more speaking gigs. I, I, I don't want to put the number because he has it in the email. It was it was over 10, 10 more speaking gigs over the next few uh, few months uh, into 2020. Uh, and it's leading him to business. So the thing about writing a book, maybe you're writing a book as a, a you know better business card, if you will. So sometimes you might be writing a book to share your personal story. Maybe you're writing a book to heal yourself. Maybe you're writing a book uh, to, to speak, to appear on TV. And if you're writing a book to build your service-based business, there are ways that you can lead people in and for, the, for them to find out, how can, how can I work with you more? How can I, uh, how can I hire your, your business? And so he said that he has been positioned for some nice contracts uh, coming up because of the, the conferences he's been invited to speaking at and because of his book publicity. And he wrote these books within a year as well. And so what I'm seeing with my clients who've, who've uh, worked with me on whatever way, whether it's Best Seller Weekend, the book funnel, what have you, is that they are not only writing one book, they're writing two or three books. I have some people writing three books. The reason I want to add this in is because when, once you write a book, once you write a book, you have developed a skill that no one can take away from you. Let that sink in. Once you've written a book, you have developed a skill that no one can take away from you. And something that I believe is when we, when we complete acts of esteem, it improves our self-esteem. And so when, we, when, when my clients finish that first book, there is a, like an essence. There is a, people, they're so uh, accomplished that they've written a book that like there's no stopping them. And so they have a skill set to write a book, to promote their business, to get on TV, to, to uh, be the forefront of whatever conversation, global conversation is happening at that time. And once that happens, Again, there's no stopping them. So very excited for, for Bob and what he has created with his CEO's Survival Guide to Information Technology and the MSP Survival Guide to Co-Manage IT Services. And just that last book I just read off, I mean, most people, that book is not, that's not, I'm not hit the target audience of that second book. So that target audience is super niche. 
And that's something important to note as well. When you're determining the target audience of your book, it's you, you think about who's my target audience, what's their pain point and how I'm going to solve it. So he has a very super niche target audience for that second book. And that's why it's at $40 uh, versus at uh, a price of, for example, $12.95 $12 to $15.95, which is the kind of industry standard for, you know, approximately 150 page to 250 page book. This book is $40 because his target audience is completely niche and he's, and he's focused in on their particular needs uh, and pain point, something to note. Another thing is generate leads. Writing a book is a great way to generate leads. We just used Bob's example. He's using it to get speaking, which is people are getting their book in hand and then they're, getting, they're hiring his business for IT consulting services. Generating leads, Amazon, is a monolith. I mean, we have to, it's a big pink elephant in the room. Millions and millions and millions of people go to Amazon to purchase every day. So something that's important to know is that people go to Google to research, people go to Amazon to buy. Amazon.com is the buyer's search engine. So what's important is that as our names, that, so we're putting the SEO hat on right now. Our, our names are a keyword search. So people, before they hire you, before they, they, um, they bring you on as a client, they bring you on as a partner, they're going to Google you. You are going to be Googled in the world we live in today. And, and so on Amazon, because Amazon being a search engine, people are searching for solutions to their problems. And so that's another hat you wanna put on in thinking about the book that you're writing is, you wanna write a book that solves someone's problem. So we just saw Bob as an example uh, that he's specifically writing a book for MSRPs and their IT solutions. Again, that's, I'm not their, I'm not their target audience there. I'm not his target audience. I wouldn't buy that book, but maybe my IT guy and the IT services guy, my IT services guy would. So go back to generate leads. So people go to Amazon and they, they search for solutions to their problems, uh, how to find a job, how to, how to make money while, while I sleep, how, uh, you know, the cures for infidel, uh, uh, infer, infertility, for example. Whatever you're looking for, there is a solution on Amazon because whoever wrote the book on it. And this is, if you see the screenshot, Behind me, here's a client of mine. We wrote the book, whew, this is going back to 2012 now. Uh, his name is Victor Chang, and he wrote a book called Case Interview Secrets. And inside the book, something that's, this is a secret that you wanna write down. The first 10% the first of your book on Amazon in the, the Look Inside the Book program on Amazon, the first 10% will show live hyperlinks. So Amazon doesn't wanna share their data. You're not gonna get their data. A thousand people can buy your book on Amazon. You won't know anyone who bought your book. The only way you can get their data is if you offer perhaps a free bonus item or supplemental materials to your book and have a live link. Now the link is live on the Kindle version of the book when it's up on Amazon, but it's also available for people who are reading the book and, and you want to incentivize them for downloading your materials in the moment, in the moment. And for example, free bonus items, the free companion items to this book, including video demonstrations, printable versions of handouts and book updates are available at caseinterview.com forward slash bonus. Please access these additional resources now before you forget. Now I always have people ask me, well, what if they don't buy the book and they just go straight to that website and get all the free goodies. Awesome, great, they're on your email list now. And you have a nurturing sequence where you're maybe sending out weekly newsletters to these people, which is important, is to constantly be in communication and, and valuable com communication. I'll put that as, a, as an asterisk, you want it to be valuable, you want it to be value added. So as we see here, if we go follow the red arrow, you go straight to his website, you put your name and email, and that means he's collecting your data, your name and email, and that you're subscribing to his newsletter. So you get the free goodies, and then you're getting a weekly newsletter all of a sudden. So that is super powerful. Someone has asked me a question. I'm gonna go over there and, and see if I can answer the question. Oh, for some reason, I'm unable to answer. 
If you do it in the chat, I should be able to see it. I'll get, I'll get to your question, but I see you. Thank you so much for your question. So generating leads. Now, one thing that I uh, do is probably everyone who's on this webinar is from my email list because I only sent one, I sent one email <laughs> to my email list this morning about this webinar. And I'm also broadcasting live on YouTube just because I did it for giggles. I'm like, oh, that might, might be fun. So uh, with that is that just shows that I sent one email and I had people who jumped in on this webinar. So you want to generate leads. Why? And I'm going to give this as another information. And then we're going to jump into getting writing your book and creating the content of your book is you don't own the names on your Instagram. You don't own the, and the names on your LinkedIn. So all your followers, all your friends on Facebook, you don't own, you don't own that data. If Facebook said, I'm closing down today, if Instagram shuts down, if there's a power outage at, at Twitter or LinkedIn, you le lose that data instantly. You got your email list. So that's something that is your assets. So something very powerful when starting an online business. And networking with leaders. Writing a book is a great way to, you know, there's this old saying, you can, you can, uh, at, you're, you're at the bottom of a, a mountain, like we're at Mount Everest, and you can walk to the top, or you can take the heli a helicopter to the top. What do you choose? What do you choose? And writing a book is a great way to have access to people that you aspire to be like mentors, influencers, people on TV. And so Barbara attended Best Start of Weekend. She wrote her book about her success, the lessons she learned on success as sailing with her family in the South Pacific. And she reached out to Brian Tracy with an email. Hey, you know, I wrote a book. I don't even, to tell you the truth, Barbara, she knew of Brian Tracy, but she didn't have like a, a an in with him. And she got to the right people and he endorsed her book, Brian Tracy, who's a best-selling author of multiple, he's a motivational speaker, success coach. Now I have this one as, as you know, my, one of my clients who, who really just took, took a leap. Now other clients, I'm working with a client right now. I'm, I don't have, the book hasn't come out yet, but uh, through the coaching that we've done together, he has developed a relationship with a major university and through this relationship, because of writing his book, and he went to talk to them about the book and getting an endorsement, because of that, they have developed a very significant and lucrative business deal for my client because of that. So, so it could be on kind of like a cool level, which is like, woo, Brian Tracy endorsed me or, or you know, I mean, I have so many examples of, of this, of people in, getting endorsed by their favorite, their favorite author, what have you. But when it comes to a lucrative business deal because of something that you're doing, I wish I could give you more details. It's something that's, that's happening and is so cool for my client. And that's what's possible. So what you do is you start net networking on a higher level and start reaching, you know, reaching for the moon, essentially, versus playing in the world that you're currently in. Something important to know. Okay, let's jump, jump in and how to write your book. I know this is why you are here. So I have a five-step signature process on how to write your book in rapid fashion. So the thing is about is when I developed Bestseller in a Weekend over a decade ago, I saw that people had mindset blocks when it came to creative massive action in their life, that they were thinking about writing a book, but when it came to actually doing it, there was a lot of, uh, you know, am I good enough? I don't know what, where to start. I don't know where to begin, uh, you know, whatever the excuse is or the limiting belief. And the thing is humans, we like to collect evidence. Uh, so we like to collect evidence that, uh, supports our limiting beliefs, like I'm not good enough. And then you'll find, you'll find examples of why you're not good enough. Like for example, oh, I, st I started writing a book 10 years ago and you know what? I'm just not good enough. It's not done yet. So that's evidence. Uh, or uh, you can find evidence that absolutely you're good enough and it's going to happen. And so I always want to encourage you in the latter is to find the evidence, is to find the support, is to find the accountability to get it done. And so I developed Best Start in a Weekend to bust through those limiting beliefs. We do things in rapid fashion. It is a way to get out of analysis paralysis and get into massive action. And that's what we do during Best Start in a Weekend. Now I've had clients who've written their book on a weekend. 
They've created an ebook. They, they launched it the next week. I even had a woman who, oh, I, I, she's amazing. I should have her testimony on here, but she's, she's British. And she wrote a book called uh, uh, six, The Six Figure Bed and Breakfast, The Six Figure Bed and Breakfast Business. So she teaches bed and breakfast owners to have, uh, to create a six figure business. Uh, she wrote her book during Best Seller Weekend. And four weeks later, she had printed books at a trade show. Now she's pretty magical because she's also gotten a reality TV show deal uh, out of this. She's been she was featured in uh, the Daily Mail, which is the United uh, uh, the UK's uh, newspaper. So she's she's a powerhouse, and uh, she she had printed books at an actual event four weeks after Best Art Weekend. Now I have clients who also use Best Art Weekend as a way to bust through. Then they take their they they take their transcript. And, and their manuscript from the weekend and they work through it. Maybe they publish in four months or six months or like some of my clients who want to become a New York Times bestseller, they got to take maybe 18 months to two years because they're getting a publisher and they're doing the whole uh, process of selling their book uh, uh, before, it before they launch their book. And, and so I have seen it all. It's all available. Best Learn a Weekend is for you to get out of thinking about it and into action where you have that, 100 page draft book manuscript ready to go, whether you turn it into an ebook the next week or whether you're sending it off to publishers in 30 days. So that's, that's why I created it. And this is the five step signature process determining the topic of your book, listing the chapters or the core concepts. Then we are creating questions. What do people want to know about this particular concept of your book? What if you were being interviewed by the top interviewers, Oprah Winfrey? Uh, and MSNBC, what questions would they ask you on this topic? What are some facts? What are some, what are prospects when they, when they want to work with you? What are some of the questions that they ask? So you want to get really granular on questions that support the chapters of your book and that support that umbrella topic. Then recording the audio. So being uh, in this interview process and recording the audio and then getting, the, getting, getting your audio transcribed. It's one of the fastest ways to create book content. It's one of the ways that we do it during Best Learn Weekend. So let's go to Victor Chang. We talked about him before. And who here feels that they are like already an expert? They're an expert and they're ready to write this book to take it all to another level. And I got to look at these questions. For some reason, I, I can't ac access the Q&A in, in this feature. I'll, I'll get back to you uh, when, we, when we finish this up. So we will uh, jump in. And so, so Victor Chang here, he's an expert. As a former McKinsey consultant, resume screener, and case interviewer, Victor Chang mentors thousands of aspiring consultants via his articles. As a candidate, he passed 60 cases out of, and received job offers from McKinsey, Bain, Monitor, LEK, At Kearney, Oliver Wyman, at McKinsey, he was rated the top 10% of consultants worldwide in his co cohort. Today, he advises Inc. 500 CEOs. Okay, so he's very much an expert. We can see that there's a lot of third-party credibility in his bio, which, which is something that we, we write. It's one of the first things you want to write as you're uh, getting started with your book. And so an elevator pitch that I'm going to have us all do uh, is, is who's your target audience? What's your expertise in, in terms of how do you help them and what results do they get because of you? What results? Because people want to work with you because they get results at the end of the day. Results matter, excuses don't. So as a business owner, thought leader, expert, uh, holistic provider, whatever, whatever you do, you want to make sure that your clients get results. And so an elevator pitch uh, that kind of gets us in the frame of like, who are we serving in terms of our book? is for example, my name is, I made this up for Victor. So it's not like he made this up. So <laughs> hello, my name is Victor Chang. I help MBA graduates. That's his, that's his target audience. Successfully pass the case interview. That's what he does, helps them do. And what happens because of that? So that they get multiple job offers in consulting. So that they get multiple job offers in consulting. I could do the same thing. My name is Alicia Dunhams. I help, help business owners become best-selling authors quickly so that they establish credibility attract more clients and make more money in their business. So that is my result. And what I find is there's people who come to me who want to write a book and there's people who come to me who want the benefits of writing a book. So there's kind of like two people, some people who want to like really spiritually grow, share their story, write their message. And there's some people who are like, I want to be on TV. 
uh, I want to speak, I want to travel the world, I want to be considered a thought leader. And, and then there's like people in between. And, and so in terms of the results, it's like, like my client, uh, Eva Macias, who came to me. So I had Dr. Larry, he said, I want to be a med TV medical doctor. The proof is in the pudding. Now he's a TV medical doctor. See how powerful the declaration and the vision is? Eva Macias, so I'll introduce you to her uh, in a few minutes. Uh, Eva Macias came to me. She said, I want to be the Latina Susie Orman. Again, really like focused on what she wants to begin. And her book specifically is for the Latina niche community. She works with uh, Latin women. Latin women. And, and so I, I love that intention. Uh, the intention is really important. And so what I'm going to say to you is who your, who's your target audience? And then we'll go into what's their pain point and how you will solve it. And so uh, quickly, uh, I would just say jot this down and do this later. I want to get to Q&A. Uh, share this with me later. I want to know who your target audience is, what you help them do, and what results they get by working with you. Very good. Okay, here's the uh, five-step signature process. And then in terms of determining the topic of your book, who's your target audience, what's their headache, and how do you solve it? Okay, we have using Victor, Victor Chang's book as an example. Target audience, MBAs who want a job in consulting. What's their headache? How to pass the case interview. One of the hardest postgraduate tests out there. How does he solve it? He teaches them how to pass the case interview so they get multiple job offers in consulting. So the reason I just shared that model of the five part signature process and then really focusing on who your target audience is, is that will determine what your book is about. Now, just even with my books uh, that I've written the last year and, and, and many of my clients' books, maybe you write a book that's specifically to uh, get you a certain client. Like uh, we saw Bob, he's like, I want these clients to hire my IT services. Uh, and, and maybe you write a book to focus on this particular audience or what have you. It's, it's all about the intention because I know Victor Chang, he's writing a book now that's more of a thought leadership book. So versus a prescriptive book that teaches someone how to pass the case interview, you'll have different stages of your life. Maybe you'll write a book because you just want to share your message with the world or something that you're super passionate about, or you want to contribute to a global conversation, or it's a thoroughly researched book that you spend years doing because you've written the short books or you've written the book that got you to the particular end point. And here's my clients, the founders of Barefoot Wine. Uh, Barefoot Wine, they created a brand, an international brand. And it was hard. It took 20 years, no money, 20 years to create a brand that eventually got uh, uh, purchased and acquired by a bigger, uh, bigger entity. And, and so they're sharing how hardship, hustle, and heart build America's number one wine, wine brand. So their book, although a business book, is filled with stories stories of hardship, hustle, and heart, starting off with no money and having a plethora of uh, grapes, <laughs> but like no cash, and how they took the grapes and turned it into cash. And so all these stories of just like tried and true all American grit uh, to start a business. And Michael's a friend of mine, and I, I spoke to him probably the last year, and he said over 50% of his business has come from this book that eventually became a New York Times bestseller. And, and I, I really applaud them because they worked really hard. The book is excellent. And uh, to become a New York Times bestseller requires grit as well. Uh, and, and so when determining the, the, the effective title for your book, you want to make sure that your book title has key words in it. And so we, we have wine in there, we have barefoot, uh, it's, uh, we have the word brand, we have even the, the data that populates the profile page on Amazon, you wanna make sure it's keyword rich. Uh, you also have up to seven keywords that you can add when you're uploading your book to Amazon. That way you're really leveraging SEO uh, and being considered that thought leader. But uh, Bonnie and Harv, uh, uh, Bonnie, his, uh, his co-author and, Michael, they used to do free speaking around the Bay Area, and now they're traveling around the world uh, with, I would say, significant uh, paid speaking opportunities because of their book. So they went from free to paid, and I would say significantly paid. So, uh, so that's, uh, that's the reason we do it. It's a progression, like everything in life. You build, you build, you build, and you evolve. 
And in terms of publishing, there's lots of ways you can self-publish your book. There's hybrid publishers. What I love about this is one of my clients who uh, who joined the program, Bestseller mm -hmm. Weekend, he wrote a book that's a marketing book. And uh, he, uh, he said, wait a minute, I just want to thank you because your program was a catalyst to not only jumpstarting this effort, but also keeping me inspired in those times when the finish line seemed so far away and I wanted to quit. My book has been published by Wiley Blackwell. So uh, a major medical dental test textbook publisher. So there, there's the traditional publishers that are more mainstream books, but then there's very niche publishing companies as well. And so don't overlook those as an opportunity uh, to publish your book. I'm a big proponent of self-publishing. Uh, and I'm also, if there's an opportunity, I've had clients who've gotten six-figure publishing deals. I've had a variety of different cases. I would just say this, and overall, if you want to create, uh, maintain the creative control of the book, and when the book comes out, you're most likely going to self-publish your book. And then in terms of a profitable book, who here wants to make more money? <laughs> so let's talk about let's talk about writing a book and, and making it profitable. Now, obviously, we're all writing for different reasons. And, and for me, um, writing a book is really about sharing your story and helping people. And part of that is creating services uh, and opportunities. For, for people to, to learn more, to work with you, what have you. Now, something that's really uh, important to note and what I share at this point is as experts, thought leaders, what have you, that everyone in the world can buy a copy of your book, but not everyone in the world can buy an hour of your time. So the reason I share this is because this is the first way to scale your expertise, to take what's up here and turn it into a product that people can consume. A product that could be within 24 hours of uploading your book on Amazon that could be bought worldwide uh, in different languages and ebook, audiobook. And this is something important to note as you build your business, whether you are a service provider, a coach, whether you are a CEO of a company, uh, it, it's, it's important to know that because you're gonna scale your expertise and you're just gonna have more reach. And so a lot of your business models will change after writing a book. I, I know it did for me. And, and whereas you might be, um, uh, your time might be uh, something that you're trading and that's not scalable, that, that people have to work with you on an hourly by hour basis. Uh, and, and what does it look like if you change that around and that people purchase your book? And then if they want to work with you, it's more of an intensive uh, experience where you can charge more. Uh, and, and so this is where you can kind of fine tune how you want to uh, build your business. So that's uh, important to note. And obviously I'm just giving a little bit of an overview of this. There's, there's more uh, in terms of that. But as I just shared with Michael Houlihan, the founder of Barefoot, how 50% of his business comes from his book. Michelle Ruet Ruiz, who wrote a book called Content Marketing for Lawyers. She's not a lawyer. She has a content marketing business and she wanted to build her base, which was lawyers. When someone asked me, you know, who should I write my book for? Like, who's my target client avatar, my client avatar we hear. It's I always say, look at the last three people who've given you money and what's a through line? What's a through line? The last people who've given you money, what's a through line? So for me, like, it's been really interesting. I've been attracting in, in my, um, and, and when my business, I'm just opening up the kimono because I like to be really transparent with my clients. I've been attracting very high net worth individuals uh, who are, uh, who are millionaires uh, and, and who want to outsource the entire process. And, and so I was like, okay, that's really interesting. I'm attracting those. So, so once you're in that space, it's like, you're asking them, Oh, who else do you know who wants to X, Y, Z, whatever your business is. I'm just giving you a little business tip right here. Now in terms of Michelle, uh, Michelle Ruiz, who used, who is a Emmy award-winning, uh, um, um, TV presenter. She used to be a, a, a TV presenter. Now she's a business owner. She was noticing that her last three clients who, who invested in her, her business were lawyers. And so she wanted to expand, expand that out. So she created content marketing for lawyers, how attorneys can use powerful social media strategies to attract more clients and become a legal thought leader. And she says that people all the time pick up her book and she has a new client. So a really powerful way to leverage clients there. 
And then I, I talked about Eva Macias, who came to me and said she wanted to be a Latina Susie Orman. And her book, uh, A Latina's Guide to Money, wow, so many things have happened because of writing this book. First of all, I want to say that her book was done in, she attended Best Seller Weekend in 2014, 15 timeframe. And she, her book was done at the end of 2015, and she sat on it for three years. And the reason I said that is because there's a lot of things that can hold us back. This feeling of I'm not good enough, I'm not I'm not ready, uh, you know, just like analysis paralysis, being a caught in a deer in headlights, uh, headlights, if you will. And and so I so I encouraged her. I said, we get to put your book out. It's done. It is perfect. And she launched her book. Within a few weeks of launching her book, we launched, first of all, we launched, we wanted to create a day to, to launch the book. First of all, it became an Amazon bestseller. She had 500 people at her book launch party. She made money at her book launch party because she sold tables to other uh, people in the financial services uh, to, to, to kind of celebrate with all these people who came to her book launch party. Then she became another number one bestseller. Then within a few weeks, she had no TV experience. Within a, two, a few weeks, she was being called but she got onto Telemunda and Univision. And now these particular media outlets, I would say this, have her on speed dial. They call her and ask her, hey, what's, what's a topic about around money that we can talk about this week? So she has like this, this great uh, ability to give, you know, uh, media pitches and TV segments. It's whatever's happening in the moment, what's ever happening in the news. And so she shared this, at her book launch party. And it was really a beautiful moment because she was saying how she didn't feel good enough to put her book out. And I would say this, her business is so big right now that she's she is getting support for her financial services and she's doing so much media. Uh, she has some opportunity with like uh, Parenting Magazine and all of these opportunities that came to her that she's outsourcing her kind of day job and doing more media appearances. So congratulations to Eva. And so I'm looking forward to jumping in. I got some questions and I wanted to share it with you. Oh, we just jumped in. What this is all about. Uh, really the best way uh, to write your book is to do it in a program that supports you in getting it done quickly. And that's my best start of weekend program. This program is tried and true. Uh, I have been running it for over 10 years and I have done it online, in person. I've done it for private organizations and universities. I've had people that, who've been working on their book for 40 years get their book done in a weekend. And as I mentioned before, it's, it's getting that book done, getting at least a hundred page draft book manuscript completed by the end of the weekend, which could be such a self-esteem booster for people. It's a product, it's, it's a book writing workshop as it is a productivity workshop. So I just want to tell you a little bit about it. And then we're going to go into questions and laser coaching. So it's a three day live workshop. And the good news is, is I'm launching this. It's every month, the second weekend of each month. So you can put, you can fit it, fit it in. You can fit it in. So the second weekend of each month, it is online. You could also do it from anywhere in the world. So let's just talk about what you create during Best Learn Weekend because there's actual deliverables. So module one, which is day one, so Friday evening, wherever you are in the world, you will get the module one, which is the book's foundation. You will determine your book topic so that you can attract your ideal content. You will also develop your book elevator page in just 60 seconds so that you can press prospects, media, colleagues, event planners. You'll write your back of the book bio so that you can boost your credibility instantly and you'll create the most marketable and niche subject matter for your book. Okay, let me break that down. So on day one, we're really creating the foundation of the book. So, so when you purchase, if you decide this is, this is something for you, we send, first of all, we send you right away some pre-work. Getting you, then you can select the weekend. You can select the weekend for September, October, November. Hey, December looks good. I'm taking the month off for December. You select the weekend. You get the pre-work. Then when the weekend comes, you will get your module, first module. It will be exactly what we're experiencing here. It's going to be me on video and the PowerPoint presentation with working, work, uh, working sessions. The reason we create it this way is I want to make sure that I create space for you. 
And so during the weekend workshop, not only do you get the pre-work, but you also get access to the Best Seller to Weekend community that has uh, been around for eight plus years on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. And so you'll be able to start networking and connecting with the other authors. I'm available and, and available to answer any questions and connect during the weekend workshop. So laser coaching, Q&A, all of that. This is what you'll be experiencing, just this, this, this type of webinar. The reason I created it um, online again is because I found that people all over the world, uh, even though they'd love to do it in person, and I love doing in-person facilitation, sometimes jumping on a plane is just, it's an impediment. It's a, it's a hindrance that people can't sometimes jump over. So that's why we're creating it in the comfort of your own home. So that, that's what you do on Friday. So we're really creating the foundation of your book. Saturday, we jump in on day two. We build your book, we create your book, we write your book on Saturday in module two and three. You, we develop your authentic voice and personal stories that you create a compelling narrative of your book. I always say that if you can tell a story, you can write a book. That's how people connect with you. That's what makes you unique to the other 7 billion people on this planet is your personal story. We also determine your bestseller book outline so that you answer the what's in it for me. So we want you to share your story, but at the end of the day, you get to share your, uh, the takeaways, uh, the, the resources, the, 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 uh, the lessons learned for your audience so they can take the lessons. Uh, so whether it's a prescriptive formula where you're writing a how-to book, this is how you do this, this is how you do that, or we're writing a memoir, we always wanna make sure that there is a, a takeaway for your readership. Also, we're going to write your book using the, our signature process to create 100 pages of content. We're going to overcome analysis paralysis into massive action. So that's what we're doing on day two. So I just want you to know when you check off whatever weekend you check off, that it's the Friday night to Saturday night, excuse me, Sunday night, <laughs> Friday night to Sunday night. So Friday night, all day Saturday and all day Sunday, you will be working because when you're there, we're not in the, the video modules and learning, you'll have uh, um, offline working sessions and you'll also be working in collaboration with, with other people in the group. Okay, so the goal is so deliverable by the end of Sunday is a hundred page of your draft book manuscript. Then day three, module four, five, and six is finalizing your book. So we determine the book title and subtitle that you position the book for maximum reach, leveraging the power of SEO in terms of search on Google and Amazon. We start the pre-marketing of your book so that you can monetize before the book is even done. I didn't mention this, but when I wrote uh, with my co-author, uh, what to say and do when you're sexually harassed, I had a client already that I did some courses, uh, some professional development with. Before the book was even finished, before the book was even finished, I just sent her over the, the front cover of the book. I said, this is what my, my uh, colleague and I are working on right now. We got booked for a full day uh, uh, training, professional development training uh, uh, at that organization around communication and, um, and sexual, sexual harassment, obviously. And so like, it was like, wow, I didn't even finish the book and I've already did a major several thousand dollar booking. So, there we go. Uh, then we're determining the best way to publish and posi position the book. So self, whether it's self-publishing, traditional, vanity publishing, what, what you get to do is create the best container for you in terms of publishing your book. I'm a big fan of self-publishing or traditional publishing. It's like either get some money or do it yourself. That's kind of the school of thought I'm in. And there's other uh, schools of thoughts in between. And we go through all of that. And also to create your bestseller marketing plan so that you build your author platform. You build this platform to get on podcasts, to get speaking opportunities, to appear on TV. There's so there's a plethora of opportunities now for you to get out and to share your message with the world. And so through this, I mean, these are some of the highlights we do during the week weekend. What I want to share with you are the deliverables of the weekend is you have your 100 page draft book manuscript by the end of Sunday, and uh, you have your marketing plan for launching your book to bestseller status on amazon.com. So those are the two, the two deliverables of the weekend. Within the weekend, there's all kinds of stuff happening from uh, reaching out to endorsers, uh, you know, rock star clients. I mean, we're doing all kinds of fun exercises during the weekend. And the two deliverables, that is my promise to you today, is a 100-page draft book manuscript and 
your book marketing plan to launch it to bestseller status on Amazon. Now you get to do everything I, I invite you to do during the weekend to make those things happen. And it's going to push you uh, to a place of, of growth. And, and that's, that's what I want for you. So that's, that's why I want to be very clear in terms of uh, what the deliverables are uh, during this weekend workshop. And really quickly, I'm, I have been doing this for a long time. I've done it at so many different price ranges. Uh, most recently, I've been selling it for $15.97. This is an online workshop. You can take it from anywhere in the world. And this is, this is uh, I created this so it's accessible to, to anyone. You will invest $597 if, when you go to bestsellertoweekend.com forward slash write and attend any of these upcoming dates. So we have it all the way till January, 2020. I don't wanna to put too farther out. We don't wanna push it too far out because I want you to be uh, focused and intentional about what you're creating and why you're here today. So 597 to have a full on experience to be, the, I'm gonna mention again, what you get. As soon as you register it, you're gonna get the pre-work. You're gonna select which date you're going to be uh, coming into which, which uh, workshop date. You'll get access to the Best Seller of the Weekend community on Facebook, which is some amazing rock stars. Actually, we, we have some celebrities and we definitely have some influencers in the community. So you're gonna be surrounded by rock stars. You can already start getting the energy of Best Seller of the Weekend. And you get the three days container of me holding space for you to write your book. So it includes modules, lessons. There's a whole, there's a whole uh, process map plan. Uh, you get, I, I haven't even mentioned all the bonuses here. You get how to write a, uh, how to write a legal disclaimer for your book. You get, uh, you get templates on how to pitch your book. Like it just, it's, 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 I've been doing this for 10 years now. You get a whole bunch of bonuses that I haven't even mentioned here. Lots of good stuff. And you get me. Now, in terms of the 597 investment, you get me in terms of Q&A, laser coaching, all in the Best Learn a Weekend group during the weekend. For an additional $400, you get two one-hour calls with me, okay? With me or a book coach, I, I will make that caveat, based on, based on scheduling. I do a lot of uh, training and I'm, I'm traveling uh, a lot. And I, you know, for you on this call, I would say at least one would be with me and one would be with one of my highly equipped, emotionally intelligent <laughs> and, and amazing book coaches. Uh, so uh, I'll, just, uh, I'll just add that in there uh, with you. So, so you can, uh, I, I, am, I am my word in terms of that, that I'm gonna be on least on one of those calls and then the other one would be with the, with the book coach. Uh, so that's for 997. Let me know if you could find this deal anywhere else in the world uh, and, and I will, um, well, I mean, I, I just don't think you'll be able to find it because I know what the other offerings are and I wanted to make sure that I'm able to price this at a great, play, great rate for you to come in and get your book done, get your book done with those two deliverables. So with that, that is uh, me sharing and inviting you into the experience. Again, if you want to go uh, and sign up at uh, bestsellerweekend.com forward slash write. That's at the 597 where you get everything that I mentioned. And at the 997 rate, it is a different URL. It's bestsellerweekend.com forward slash book and call. And that you get the two hour laser coaching session. So those are the two uh, laser coaching questions. So now with that, I know we are um, after, I don't like going over, but now I'm gonna get out of this and Go back to here. Let's see. There we go. And now I can go back to the Q&A here. Okay. Gloria says, will you please comment about self-publishing versus with a publisher through Amazon Book Baby Hugh? Will you please comment about self-publishing with the publisher? Okay. Thank you so much. I needed to be out of that uh, different uh, thing to look at the Q&A. Gloria. So in terms of self-publishing, self-publishing, this is what I say, self-publishing through amazon.com. Um, they definitely have the monopoly, I'll say this. They realize that they are the biggest bookstore in the world. Heck, they're the biggest store in the world. And Amazon is, I, I mean, they, they have so much reach. Because they know this, that their self-publishing platforms are the best ones to use. A few examples. They prioritize books that use Kindle Direct Publishing as the, their method of self-publishing. A couple ways I've seen this in the past is that if you publish through Book Baby or 
or iUniverse, I don't even think they're around anymore, Lulu, there's all these different self-publishing platforms. They, they, in terms of the Amazon algorithm, your book will be pushed down in terms of the algorithm based on the keyword search, or they, the book will be um, seen as either out of print or that the book is not available. So when you print on demand through Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing, your book is always available. So if you publish through another self-publisher, they devalue it based on the Amazon's algorithm, uh, where it's either hard to find or it shows out of print or that the book is not readily available. So really, it's kind of like we're in a pincher hold. We Amazon's the best way to, to publish. It's and to tell you the truth, it's the cheapest way. You can order books through the, um, the front of your Amazon, uh, the forward facing consumer part of Amazon. You can order your books two to three dollars a piece. It becomes a business card. I give my book away for free. Uh, and, and because it's, it's a business card. So, I mean, two to $3 matters based on the page, uh, page numbers and also how big your book is. So Gloria, thank you for that question, but definitely self-publishing Amazon. Anyone else have any questions as, as we get wrapped up today? I'll stay a few minutes. And, and with this, uh, First of all, let me share share with me. Did you did you learn anything? Did you have any aha moments? You could share it share it in the Q and A because I'm there right now. If you had any aha moments today, what is your book about? And I see Bob, David, Gloria, Kelly, Marie, Susan. What is your book about? What why are you? What's your why? Why are you writing this book? Let's use this as an opportunity for some laser coaching. Uh, and and as and as we. Uh, are adding that, as you guys are adding your questions, I'm just gonna put it on this last slide of the weekends that are coming up in terms of Best Learner Weekend. As I mentioned, they're the second weekend of every month. And uh, the next one coming up is September 13th, all the way to January. And Gloria says, getting more exposure speaking consulting would be amazing. I love this. Getting more exposure, speaking, consulting would be amazing. Yes, it is. And writing a book is one of the ways to get more exposure, get more speaking and more consulting. And, and being strategic about it, that if you write a book, like if you, if you have clients already, for example, I'll, we'll use the professional development world and corporate, corporate training. If you have clients already and, they, and you see a problem that's on, on the horizon perhaps, or a, a particular problem in their organization, is creating, creating a methodology and writing a book on it and introducing it to them that way. And here, I'm gonna give you another, this is a golden, golden tip for you right here, is that a lot of times corporations and schools, for example, they might not have a speaking fee per se, but they have a materials fee. So you can get into the, the school, the university, the community college, school district, uh, the, perhaps the corporation through a materials fee where you're selling the book essentially and your, your consulting and your speaking or facilitation is, is uh, in that cost. And, and so they have a materials line item because you know in budgeting, there's the human resources budget, there is, there's you know, individual departments budgets, they have materials budgets. So you wanna be savvy and strategic in, in how you can actually enter into uh, into that. Since my book is pretty much done, can I consult you with without the course? I would like to get a publicity plan written for launching it, and I have some great opportunities coming up. Gloria, absolutely. And if anyone wants to contact me, I'm here to support. You can send me an email at alicia at aliciadunhams.com. Uh, subject pit webinar. Subject pit webinar. So I know that you came from the webinar, and I would be happy uh, to. Uh, connect with you and see how I can support, answer any questions or uh, work together and what that would look like. So absolutely, Gloria. Uh, plagiarism, that's interesting. So, uh, so I believe in the power of original content. And so during Best Learner Weekend, we write original content. Now, plagiarism uh, it could be an issue if you are sourcing from other materials. And so, so uh, uh, I'll just say this, Best Learner Weekend, we're creating 100% original content. So there's no, during Best Learner Weekend, plagiarism isn't even uh, something that's addressed because it's, it's coming from you. Uh, when you are sourcing other books, you wanna make sure you cite other books. Uh, and in terms of plagiarism uh, software, I know there's a couple good ones. I, I'm sure if you just Google on, I can't think of the name right now, but when you Google 
plagiarism software. There's a software out there. And really the consensus is do not plagiarize, create your own original content. And when you have uh, substantiated uh, material, when you, when, you, when you wanna substantiate some of, the, uh, some of your original thoughts in the book is you cite the materials. So you want to make sure you have a bibliography at the back of your book and that you cite uh, all the materials uh, with, within the book and in the bibliography. Thank you for that question. Okay, great. So you can contact me at alicia at aliciadenhams.com. I'll just wrap up and just say it's been a pleasure to be on the webinar with you today. Thank you so much for your questions. And uh, again, uh, you can jump in on the next Bestseller to Weekend. Go to bestsellertoweekend.com forward slash write. At the 597, you cannot, I mean, this, this is a steal. This is a steal. You could ask anyone in the Best Saturday Weekend group. They probably most likely paid more than <laughs> this. So 597. And then to work with me uh, with two calls at the uh, bestsellerweekend.com forward slash book and call. And one of those calls will definitely be with me, with me and the other one would be with a, one, of my, one of my book coaches. Okay, so so with that, I would love to uh, uh, just wish you the most amazing day. Thank you so much for spending the, the last hour with me. I appreciate you. You guys were awesome. Didn't ask very many questions, uh, so I hope you definitely got value. And uh, you can uh, share it in the comments on YouTube or uh, always share th with things with me at Alicia at AliciaDunham.com. All the best to you and yours. You make it an amazing day. All the best. Bye-bye.